Fox 45 is also pressing state leaders about the deadly violence in Baltimore. Rebecca Pryor questioned Governor Larry Hogan about the specific actions he's taking to curb crime. Rebecca? Well, it turns out we're not the only ones calling on the governor for answers. He's also being urged to declare a state of emergency. Now, Hogan agreeing that some form of action needs to be taken. He's just not sure that's the action we need right now. Yeah, it's, uh, it's unconscionable, and uh, we're very concerned about it. On the heels of multiple mass shootings raining down on the streets of Baltimore within a 24-hour span, Governor Larry Hogan admitting the $45 million he recently allocated to address out-of-control violent crime in the city clearly not working. The governor now saying another sit-down with Baltimore City's police commissioner and mayor may be necessary. We've addressed everything that they've asked us to do. Uh, but, you know, we continue to have this bloodshed and, um, you know, I would question whether or not they have to go back and revisit their uh, their strategy on fighting the violent crime. Meanwhile, calling for immediate action, gubernatorial candidate Rashern Baker sending the governor this letter today in it demands Hogan declare a state of emergency. The letter reading in part, quote, enough is enough, governor. This has to end. Right now, what do you think of that request and do you plan on declaring a state of emergency? Well, I didn't get any requests from him, so uh, maybe he requested it through you, but uh, he didn't ask me. Uh, but, uh, you know, a state of emergency is, you have to figure out what that really means. According to Baker, it would mean freeing up federal resources, including the deploying of Maryland National Guard members to patrol high-risk neighborhoods, helping preserve peace and order. Hogan's response? It's been done before during the riots, but only for a short amount of time, claiming it's not as simple of a solution as it seems. The National Guard soldiers are not trained urban police officers, and they, they really shouldn't be patrolling the streets of Baltimore. The Baltimore City Police should be doing that. However, Hogan adding, at this point, as we continue inching closer to another record-breaking year of bloodshed in Baltimore, a state of emergency not completely off the table. Uh, you know, we're willing to consider any options in the future. If they can't get it under control. Now, Hogan also pointing to his proposed Firearms Offender Act, which ultimately fell short in the state legislature this year. Hogan saying that he still cannot wrap his head around why Maryland lawmakers would not get that act passed. Reporting live in Baltimore, Rebecca Pryor, Fox 45.